Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the back of this Teardown Lab. I was given this by my brother, something he obviously bought, and it's unlike, very much unlike the USB um, soldering irons I've got. Well, in fact, because it's not a USB soldering iron, it's a battery soldering iron. So I don't know where I was going with that. I mean, it's very much like the USB soldering irons in that it looks like the same end, but very different in that it's a sort of battery pack on there. And I'm just going to check this out because that is an actual removable tip, which is quite nice. I don't think the ones we got had those. And uh, it's got, it looks like a, a button here that I don't know. It's weird, really. It's not a locking button. I don't know if it has to be in this on position and then that to engage it. Who knows? It feels like there's batteries in it, but I'm not seeing any signs of life. So let's take them out. There are some Sony batteries. And I left this meter on all night. I think it has auto off, but it was very dim this morning. Could be dim from the cold. But let's just check it out, shall we? Prod that in there. Prod that in there. Yeah, yeah okay. So... These should be, assuming they're all alive, and we'll pop them back in. Maybe it just doesn't work. I can't really remember what you were saying about it. Maybe he was telling me it wasn't working. I just wasn't listening, as is my way. Um, okay, great. So it, it turns out we are, we're having a teardown. We're doing the teardown. Aruga, aruga, teardown time. I need some sound effects, don't I? I'm going to get some from the old whatever that thing was. I remember something with um, Craig Charles in it doing Aruga, Aruga. And I think it was like some sort of VR, crappy VR game show program. But it was uh, lost in the depths of my memory. Um, I think I'm seeing a screw here. Yes. <laughs> you will not hide from me, you fiend. Oh, you fickle fiend. Come to me. I was watching Star Trek today, and uh, I forgot how much I like it. It was really cool. It's the one where uh, Wesley Crusher goes to do his uh, academy exam, and he kind of loses his uh, place because he um, let this um, gas-breathing fish face guy sort of helped him out because, you know, Wesley is. It's not, he's not a winner, is he? And um, I just thought, yeah, I don't know. I think there was a bit of, um, it was it was unfair because that alien guy was going to be the first of his race, the first, um, uh, I don't know what his name was, whatever it was, um, in Starfleet. So I kind of felt they probably cheated Wesley anyway out of a whole you know, political agenda. But there you go, that's my view on it. There was a bloody screw there. I friggin' what? Uh, what, what? Let's get rid of that. Now I've stripped it out totally. Oh, uh, uh, oh, oh, it hurts so, it hurts so good trying to push that out. Right, this looks way simple, doesn't it? Because if you remember the one um, we had on the USB had all sorts of 555, in the five 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 uh, controller in there because it was doing some sort of weird, weird, um, sort of going off after a while, and it was sort of weird, weird coming on when you sort of touched the button like it had a, um, you know, the base of a transistor was doing this sort of firing. So I'm just sort of re, re arse assembling this again now. All right, so there it is. It is doing something. You can see there. The plunge is not doing nothing, and then when it's moved over, it should come on when you push that down. And it's using an LED attached to that, attached to that. So there's not really too much that can go wrong on this. Let's see if we can get some continuity, because I'm pretty sure you'd expect some. Yeah, we do. We do. So where was our eat? I do notice that this thing looks a bit twisted there, but I don't think there was a short. In fact, hmm. it's a bit weird actually. The LED isn't in series, it's just in parallel. So the LED should just come on. It should just come on when uh, power is applied, but we weren't even seeing that. So let's try to figure out 
what's wrong with this and put right what once once went wrong right so we're going to go this far and i've got to hold the back end of it while i'm doing this so this is going to be a bit tedious but we're going to use the old chopstick style probe holding and that's where all these chinese meals come in handy and that's the only reason i have them obviously obvs um twitching around there yeah i mean that's not bad is it four and a half volts i mean oh hang on where'd it go there you go i mean that's kind of what you'd expect so when that led oh the led came on then huh what something something is bad in this world thou art a naughty knave what could it be which part i'm gonna go with batteries maybe let's try this again then i just met you and this is crazy now hold my batteries nah, okay i reckon it could be batteries because of this battery snap design let me just see if i can modify it and if it works then that was me being right and if it doesn't then the problem lies elsewhere but you've got to try haven't you yeah okay i was summoning up my inner inner arnie there what was i trying to watch there's a movie i was trying to watch with arnie in it recently and um couldn't face it at the time but what the hell was it it's hard this time of year isn't it there's so many of them on oh it was his body oh no that was it yeah look at that fixed it oh what oh yeah here you go fixed it so let's put this back together and see what it can bloody do after all that fluffing so it was his uh bodybuilding it was a uh, video or a documentary on uh, Netflix, Netflix called I don't know Bodybuilders or something, and it starred Arnie, and it was him doing sort of poses. It started with him doing poses, being directed by I don't know some sort of choreographer or a ballerina or something, and uh, I just went, no, nah. no thank you. But I might give it another go. I think the reason is it's because I've, I've fallen so far off my own fitness and health thing recently, especially through these holidays, that uh, I don't like to think about it. I don't like to think how much work is going to be required to uh, get back, get back into health. It's just so bloody cold. It's so demotivating, isn't it? You don't want to go out and run in the bloody cold. Right get on you bastard oh I can see why uh, what oh hello now I don't know if it needs the pressure I suspect not I just think it's a short That is pants, isn't it? If I loosen it though, why is it okay when it's just loose? Got to be careful, it might actually start getting hot while I'm playing with it. Let's see if there's any clue in this design. I mean, there's a ferrule in there and then there's a, um, a sort of just heat compound there. So when you put that in, you don't expect it to see anything. Oh, hang on. What? How is that even coming on? Oh yeah, because remember the battery is in parallel. So maybe, sorry, the battery is in yeah, is in parallel. So maybe the point that thing isn't coming on is because the LED, all the heat is going to the tip. So maybe it was just working. Maybe the LED comes on when it's bloody at temperature. Let's just hold that down. Now this is where I need the old flare thing out, but there's too many, too many hands required. I don't know, you know. 
Is that hot? Yeah, I'm going to say it's kind of thinking about being hot. Maybe you just need more juice than those three batteries can actually provide. I'm not sure how much current they uh, can provide. But let's think, how many volts is that? Um, you just need a solid four and a half volts. Sod it. Let's do it on the bench. And it is a little bit warm, but let's see if we're just going to make our own. We can make our own like thermostatically controlled soldering iron if we just could be asked. But it's just so they're so cheap now. I think those USB soldering irons I paid a fiver each or something like that or thereabouts. So I'm going to put this. Yeah, I kind of don't want to have to hold that. And let's get our forceps here. Our awesome forceps. And if you don't have a pair of these, go get some. These are archery forceps. They clamp off like that. See, they're clamped, and then you just unlock them. Like a little mini vice grips. So bloody handy. And good if you cut yourself and you need to fix that gusher. Right. So I'm putting the bench to four and a half. It's actually quite hard to tune it to exactly. 4.69. That'll be close enough. Whoa. Okay. And it's maxing out at 1.6 amps. A full 1.6 amps. Now, I don't know anything about AA cells, but I can tell you that is not an inconsiderate amount of ampses. But it's kind of cool that you can just sort of do this, and that's look how tiny my soldering iron is. You can make a really mini micro um, soldering iron. Sort of looking around, do I have a bit of PCB to test this on? Yeah, nothing I'd want to sort of kill, but let's just put it on yeah, this thing. Let's say we wanted to pimp this terminal out a bit more. Would we? Would it work for us? Mm, come on, yeah, it would. Works real good. Real good. It's using 4.5 amps at present. And uh, yeah, it's cooking along nicely. I'm, uh, I quite like this. I think let's do a mini soldering iron. Um, look at that mini. That's a mini soldering iron and a bloody half um, segment in the future. Let's rejoin this and do it. But yeah, at the moment it's working. At the moment that's crap. Don't know if there's enough current in that. But I don't care. I've learned what I'm going to learn. We've all we've all taken home what we're going to take home. Bingo. Please uh, comment down below on the current of the AA cells and whether or not it can or should even be able to do this. I mean, if it's doing it from a USB port, um, which was supposedly, remember we're doing these on the USB ones and your USB port might only be 500 milliamps. So I don't know. I don't rightly know. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh, ah, ooh. But, you know, everything else, um, yeah, say, comment down below on that. And I'm going to just wrap that up with, uh, yeah, this is quite a nice lid and it pushes the on-off back so it can't go off accidentally in your bang, your little roll solder. I mean, that would be quite nice if it works. Let me know if it should work. Maybe we'll raffle that off and you can have that. Or we'll make a mini soldering iron. Comments down below on which I should do. As ever, guys, thank you very much for watching the Back Office Battery Soldering Iron Special. Ta-ta.